Well, hi again. I finally been getting back to work. Now, it's one of the problems when you're working on something for yourself is uh, clients come first. <laughs> so, I've started working on the fretboard. And if you want to see how we grind out fretboards, please look at the Viking project. Because I didn't get around to filming that. But I did want to kind of point out a few things that were interesting here. Uh, first of all, you'll notice that this guitar did have dots and that the new inlays go over the dots. So you can see here that I've ground out a couple of flying saucers that are going to be here on the third fret and that went straight into the fretboard over the dot. And hopefully you can see the you know in frets over here and you can see that there's a couple of dots here. What this is is what's re what's left. You can see like this one kind of just about came out. And most of them, like this one here, they just popped right out while I was routing it. Now that was one of the first things I had to worry about. The second thing I had to worry about is this fretboard is bound and I really didn't want to rebind it. So what I decided to do was cut this all out by hand route this this here this is going to be the planet Mars and I'm route this out by hand so I can get as close to that border as possible and then of course you see that it fits in there real nice usually <laughs> there it goes and then what I did is I took one big piece uh, this is Padoop which is kind of an orangish color so it was good for Mars and what I did was I took a, a big piece of this and I'm going to try to see if I can center that camera just a little bit more for me, will you? Okay, thank you. Alright, so I took a big piece that was actually out to about here and after I cut the hole I ground all the pieces down because a part of this is going to go onto the headstock which you can see you know, right, right there. And you know, so I got this little piece here which is going to go above the the truss rod hole and then I got a bigger piece here that fits right there and this piece was all one piece I had to cut out what I needed to actually get to the to the truss rod hole because we want to be able to still adjust the guitar well, it's very important to me that when we're done this is a playable instrument now we have a couple other things that we do have to worry about which is that since these are bound I can't actually get a fret saw in here to reopen the slots so it's going to be really important that I cut this material to where the fret actually is and that's what I'm measuring right now I want to make sure that I get a nice straight line there and the next thing is is the nut actually is about here this has a nut for a floating bridge and it's a pretty good size thing, this big metal clumpy thing. And so I want to make sure that I cut this back so it matches up with the end of the fretboard and I still have room to put in the nut to put the nut back. So that's what we're gonna be working on next. And then we're gonna cut out the pieces, glue the pieces into the fretboard, and radius it back to 12 is what we found out that was. And now I don't want a very big, big gap. So I'm going to use this little thing called a V-block, which is a real friend of the inlay artist. And I'm just going to come in here with a very thin blade and cut that line as accurately as possible. first cut. There we go. Now I'm going to cut off the extra stuff I don't need for the nut. Alright, 
That piece that fell on the floor I don't need. So I'll just pick that up later. What I'm going to do is real quick, I'm going to put this on a, a rotary sander and just touch the edges a little bit so there's a little bit more gap there, not much. And here we are ready to glue up plant Mars. So I've got all my pieces cut and I got the hole cut, I'm all ready to go and I'm just going to make some as usual. Squeeze out some epoxy. There's not much left in this tube, so I have a, unlike usual, I have a, another tube ready to roll. Got to make sure we got enough. It's always good to make too much than not enough. Okay, then we're just going to real quickly, like, give it some sawdust. By the way, if you've kind of noticed, I have multiple uh, Dremels hanging on a wall here. The reason why is because I hate having to switch tools all the time. So I actually take all my real common tools like this big drum sander and put them on a Dremel all its own so I can just grab the Dremel. So I'll just mix it all up. A lot of people ask me what kind of um, epoxy I use. And there's a lot of like really, you know, expensive stuff that's made just for this purpose and stuff. And I just don't see that as, I've tried them and I'm not that thrilled with them. This is just uh, uh, super glue epoxy. You can get it from Super Glue Corporation. It comes, this is 20 minute. They make it in a whole bunch of different stuff. Um, it's a little hard to find at the stores. I, use, I buy them in crates from the company itself. But um, this is probably the best stuff I've ever used. It, it does everything just kind of perfect, just the way I need it. Uh, it colors really good and it feels real solid. and I love it. So, highly recommended. Once again, not a commercial for super glue. So I'm going to kind of do this a fret at a time. And so I'm going to come in here with the second fret because that's really the one that's that's setting everything in place. Put all the glue there. And I got two little pieces that have to go in the second fret. Big planet Mars. And then just a little sliver of the polar ice cap. And I don't know why I don't start with my magnifying glasses on to begin with. Now these are going to be really tough to line up because they're not going into a perfect hole on their own. The edge of the hole is all open, plus they have to line up with the fret just perfect. So I'm going to slide it in there, get a little paper towel to wipe my hands with, and it looks like I've got a perfect lineup on that fret. Yeah, just get a little bit of that uh, glue off the binding, easier to take it off now than later. And I got everything. Beautiful, beautiful. Happy with that. So we'll just go on to the next fret. Pound in my epoxy there. Well, not pound in, spread in. The plant of Mars here was probably as much work as the whole rest of the fretboard is going to be. But that's all right, because it's going to be very, very cool when I'm done. So I put that in there, make sure it's lining up nice with the fret. Put in the polar cap here, make sure that's nice with the fret. Yeah, make sure everything lines up real nice with the nut down here. 